so it's ready to be made into a wallet. Um, here is a sheet of instructions that I made up after watching the video. How I learned to do this was on a video on YouTube. So if you Google Tyvek Envelope, uh, you will find the YouTube uh, demo that really is very clear how, how to do this. So after studying that for a long time, I decided to write down the instructions and create this um, paper instruction thing because I was teaching this and I wanted people to have something to take home. And I do refer back to this. So the first thing we're going to do is make some folds. So this is side one. This is the front side. This is the back side. Once you've painted it, it's real easy to tell the difference. So we're going to turn it over and we're going to take the bottom and we're going to fold it up to the crease where uh, the flap comes down and um, make a crease. Okay, so that's fold number one. Now keeping it like that, we're going to fold it back up, but we're going to leave approximately three-fourths of an inch. Now if you're a real precise person you can measure it. I just eyeball it. It's not really critical exactly that it be, three, you know, it's just that you want to have some space there. So I'm going to just fold it there. So those are my folds, my uh, and horizontal folds I guess. And then we're going to make one vertical fold. So we're going to fold it in half this way and crease it. Okay, so now, so this is actually going to be, this is how much of the wallet you're going to see. This is going to be your finished wallet will fold like that. So, uh, and then this is the part that's going to be the inside where your credit cards and things go. So we need to make an opening for the credit card and um, we're going to take our little cup and I'm going to position it in between. I'm going to center it on the center line and then between those two lines. And I'm going to hold it down and you can use a regular pen, but sometimes I like to use these uh, metallic pens. And I'm just going to draw around this. And that will be my opening. I don't know if you can see that very well, but I can see it. So I can see it well enough to cut on it. And then this half um, it is going to be another mark that we need to make. So I'm um, going to take my ruler and go from crease to crease and on the center line and make a mark. And then I'm going to go a half inch, a quarter inch on either side so that the total opening, so see I can position this red, I can I can see the marking so I'm gonna do a quarter inch there, a quarter inch there, and a quarter inch on this side and a quarter inch on that side. So I've got my markings for the front. Then on the bottom I'm going to make a little arcing mark there and make that opening a little bit bigger and then draw a straight line. If you watch the video you'll see how to do this a little bit better but I'm just showing you how fast you can do this. Oh, that wasn't very straight. so. Going to redo this line because the part I messed up messed up will be cut off. So if I hold the ruler down, I'll do a better job. There we go. Okay. Then I'm going to turn it over, and the last markings I'm going to make is again this crease line here. And then this crease line here. So this is the halfway point and then the next line. And then the center line. All 
On the instruction sheet, I've labeled it 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, so that it's much clearer uh, when you follow along. So now I need to make sure that I put in my board before I make my cuts so that I don't mess that up. Let me see, this ends a little. <laughs> Helps to not cut so straight. This one end is a little bit smaller than the other end goes in easier. Okay, so actually I'm going to, if you leave a little space at the bottom, it's easier to pull it out. Well, I didn't do that, did I? Oh well, we'll keep going. So, now I'm going to take my cutter and I'm going to very carefully cut out my center circle. I just go slowly turning my board as I go around, taking my time, not in any hurry. And I'm saving these circles because I think I can use them somewhere in collage or maybe make a little gift tag or something out of it. They're pretty. No sense in throwing them away. There we go. Okay, so we'll just set that aside and we'll turn it over and using a ruler to, as a straight edge, I'm going to cut that center line and I'm going to cut now this is just on one side, that's why you want the board there. And we've got that. So this should open up. Open up your flaps like that. Okay, we're good to go. So we're going to take the board out because our next cuts are going to go through both sides. So you don't want a board in there. Got it out. Okay, so now you want to fold this back out so you don't accidentally cut it. And I'm going to cut the half inch here and the half inch on that side. Actually, it's a quarter inch. I misspoke. And it goes all the way through. You want it to go all the way through both sides. And then the center line. Okay, make sure it goes all the way through. And, um, and I'm just going to cut this off while I'm at it. Finish up all my cuts. So you want to make sure that when you're doing this you have something protected so that you're not cutting up something important underneath. Okay, so cut that away. Alright, so we've got that. Now we're going to take both sides and we're going to fold this back and crease it. I like to take this little extra part off there. Don't have to. Okay. And I'm going to now use my double stick tape. And I like to put the tape on the flap and then on the other side to hold it down there. Okay. So by having the front side decorated it's easy to see which way you're supposed to fold and tape that down. That I got very confused on that part from the video because everything he was doing was white envelope and, and I wasn't quite clear on what was going on there. So now we're going to turn it over and we're going to fold this up like this 
and then we're going to fold this down to get it to stick. Okay, so see, there's your credit card holder there. Doesn't look very straight, doesn't it? Oh, crying that way. All right, so. Okay, so I didn't cut this really even. Oh, well. All right, here we go. I'm going to manipulate this a little bit. I want this line to be even. So I'm going to kind of refold that a little bit. There, that looks better. And tape that down. So sometimes you have to sort of manipulate this a little bit to get it to do what you want. So now I'm going to fold this back down. Now these flaps come back like this and you tape those down. And I'm going to get rid of this little extra piece here. So and I want that fairly tight. And I'm going to fold this up like this and press it down. So now that's held together. So now you see what you have here. So I'm going to take this off. Now this has a sticky edge. So I'm going to, um, if I wanted two divisions here, I could put this in here or I could, um, yeah. So let me do that. Put that in there. And stick it down. Smooth it out. And voila, we have our wallet. Ta -da. Now, I've got these little tabs sticking up, and I don't like how that looks. So, I'm just going to cut it off. And... There you have it.